Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I just ran through and got my Starbucks. And now I'm running to Costco to go get my medicine. And I think while I'm there, if it's not too crowded, I'm gonna get a couple other things um, that I might need. Just like some food stuff. Not food stuff really, but I'd actually like to get us like, we don't really have room in the freezer right now, but like a big like vegetable lasagna that we could make and then keep over a couple days to have. I'm eating so horribly right now, you guys. Like, last night I sat and I watched, I started watching this thing that Mel had sent me. I'm gonna take the long way, um, but so that I can vlog a little bit. I, somebody on Twitter today was like, put out this thing and I thought it was so nice. They were like asking vloggers to make longer vlogs so that people will be able to watch them at home. So I'm gonna try to make these vlogs as long as possible, you guys, but some of it may be me sitting in the bathroom just talking or um, because like as of today, Alex has to go in to work. He went in for a couple hours today, he just got home and he has to go in um, tomorrow, no, he has to go in on possibly Tuesday or Thursday for two hours and then just to like pick up some stuff and get some stuff. Um, they're like going in there like two at a time, I guess. And then not for another week and then maybe not at all after that, they don't know. Um, and the other place that he works is just closed indefinitely so he's not doing anything with that. Um, so he's gonna be at home. He's, you know, Alex is, knows I love making videos and he knows, you know, how dedicated and committed I am to it. So he's completely, um, you know, willing to sit upstairs and watch TV or whatever while I'm filming videos and doing vlogs. But I'm just gonna have to try to move around him a little bit. You know what I mean? But last night I sat and I started watching this Golden State Killer thing that Mel had told me to watch. Well, the problem is with it, okay, there's no problem with it, but it's like older, it's from IDTV. And so, it's like this ongoing case. I don't know if they solve it in there or not. Um, I'm gonna watch it, it's only like four or five parts, and it's like 40 minutes each part. But I'm gonna watch it. Um, and then, I watched like half of the first episode, and I was kind of like, mm, I wanna like watch this all together. I may watch, I might watch a little bit each night, um, but that's on Hulu. And, um, so I went and I watched like two or three more episodes. I just found myself getting distracted. Um, I actually sat outside last night and just listened to my audiobook and I made a cup of tea. I made a cup of lemon zinger tea for my Keurig and I put coconut milk cream in it that I, the milk that I bought and, um, honey. And that was really, really good. It reminded me of back in the day, this one of my good friends, her dad, he owns restaurants in Indianapolis. And um, she's like one of my best friends from high school. And we were like friends all through college and we're still friends today. And um, But anyway, her dad owned really cool restaurants in town and he's Scottish and he started like one of the very first brew pubs ever in Indianapolis. <clears throat> and so, but way back before that, like, well, I guess it was, like, right when he st when it started that restaurant. Like, we were in, God, I think we were, like, maybe, like, our first year or second year of college. And she, like, house sat for him while he went out of town one weekend. He has this really cool house. It's got, like, stained glass everywhere and stuff. And just really comfy couches with throws everywhere. It's just very eclectic and bohemian. It's a really cool house. I don't know what it looks like today. I haven't been over there in years. But back then, that's what it looked like. And just books everywhere. And I remember like, he loved to listen to like the folk singer, Nancy Griffith. And so she was like playing these Nancy Griffith CDs and she made us like homemade mac and cheese. I remember my friend, my other friend and I, the one that, cause it was like three of us that were really good friends. And that was the, the other friend was the one that I had gone to like elementary, junior high, high school and everything with him. Um, so we were like staying over there with her. I remember we stayed like all three of us like in his big bed and he had this huge bed and we like all slept together and like watched this like some scary movie like late at night like fell asleep in this big bed with our clothes on and stuff and but it was so fun and um, it's kind of weird when I look back on some of my history you know it's like I have history that's like so like embedded in drinking and using and then I have others it's like was completely innocent and not that at all you know 
And, um, so anyway, uh, it is 55, it was supposed to be 65 degrees t today, it's 55, but I've got the heat on 72 and it's a little hot in here. Um, we'll see how the windshield, why the windshield does without any heat on it. Let me open the window for just a little bit. It's raining outside. But anyway, she made us homemade mac and, well not really homemade mac and cheese, but she like made like, you know, the macaroni and then she like cut off like these huge wedges of like Velveeta and she like, you know, um, stirred it in there and like she put some milk and stuff. And then I remember afterwards we sat around and she made tea and her dad had these really cool Crate and Merrill, Crate and Merrill, Crate and Barrel, <laughs> Crate and Merrill Street, <laughs> Crate and Barrel mugs and they were like, um, like these stone mugs and I remember I always was a tea drinker, like, growing up. I loved tea. I've always loved tea and coffee. And, um, so she made, like, chamomile tea, and she put in it uh, cream and, like, honey, and it was so good. And I remember trying to recreate it later, and it wasn't the best. I also remember, like, like it wasn't as good as she had made it. You know, do you ever feel like that? Like, sometimes when somebody else makes something for you, it's, like, 100 times better than if you make it for yourself. I also remember... So the summer of ninth grade, of me, no, the summer of between ninth and tenth grade, when I was getting ready to go to high school, my mom and um, one of her best friends, her sorority sisters, and her sorority sister's daughter, who was like two years younger than me, we um, all drove to Charlevoix, and then we took the ferry over to Beaver Island. Excuse me, because one of my mom's best friends worked in Beaver Island, Michigan. Or not work. She lived there. She had lived there her entire life. My mom's friend, Diane. And um, she actually worked at a bar there called Jack's. And she was a bartender for like 30 years. It's like the one bar on Beaver Island. And um, this was like my mom's like best friend of life. Like I've told this story on here before. But like when she died, I went over to my mom's house. And she had had cancer. And she was like on her second round of cancer. I think like she had gone through and um, had the treatments and was doing better. And then like she was in, no, she was in remission and then it came back. And the second time she decided she didn't want to go through the chemo again. It was like they caught it late and it was bad, I guess, or something. I don't know. But my mom was devastated that she wasn't going to like do the treatments and stuff. And my mom was terrified to drive on interstates. And so she didn't really have a way to get up there. And she never said anything to me or I would have driven her up there, you know. <clears throat> And I remember I came over to her house when um, Diane passed away. And my mom was just sitting on the couch, just, like sitting there drinking a cup of coffee, smoking a cigarette. She's just kind of like just looking off into space. And I said, are you okay? And, and I will never forget what my mom said. She said, who now will know my soul? Because like, she, like they were so close. They've been friends since they were like 14 years old. And um, she, Diane passed away almost exactly three years before my mom did. Um, I could get real sad about that. I've been real emotional the last couple of days. I feel like everything is just making me super emotional. And um, but anyway, when we were on Beaver Island, or was it? We went we went skiing somewhere one time too with my mom's friend and her daughter. Where did we go? We rented a place. But anyway, she would take bagels and she would slice them, and then she would put them in you know the toaster, and she would toast the bagels. And then she would butter them like crazy, and then she would wrap them in um, tin foil, and she would put them in the oven for like 10 minutes, and then she would like bake them in the oven for like 10 minutes, and then she would take them out and smear them with cream cheese. Oh my God, they were so good. And I have tried to recreate that so many times, and I just, it's not the same at all, but... She and Susie are like two of my mom's friends that are still alive. I need to call Susie, see how she's doing. I talked to my dad today. Have you guys, first of all, have you guys seen the Venice Canals? I mean, wow. You think about, you don't really realize how we, like, what we do pollutes the world. You know, even from, you know, driving around to working every day to the factories going to everything. It's like crazy. Those canals are beautiful have you seen it and the porpoises or the dolphins I don't know what they are like swimming through the canals you can see the fish for the first time in years it's amazing and other people around the world are seeing that too 
I talked to my dad today, and uh, for those of you that know, my dad is a surgeon. I uh, I don't really want to share what he said. <clears throat> And it wasn't like panicky anyway. I mean, it was just very like straightforward. Just because it's just my dad's opinion and I don't want to give any misinformation out. But he is staying at home because he's 79 years old and he's like, I'm in the highest risk group for this. But he did say, I, two things that he did say to me that I asked him that I, go along with what everybody's saying anyway. So I think it's fair to share. I asked him, I said, do you, what do you think about the social distancing? And he said, I 100% uh, uh, believe in it. <laughs> like, this is how we're going to stop it. Um, and he said, it's highly contagious. It's more contagious than the flu. And the way that we're going to stop it is by social distancing. And I said, so what do you feel about, like, drive throughs like, going to be, get Starbucks? And he said, well, that's fine, I think, for right now. He said, you know, I encourage it. He goes, because it's keeping our restaurants open. He was like, my stepmom, my dad and my stepmom are doing, like, DoorDash a lot, he told me. And he said, but he goes, there's no reason to get together in large groups. Don't be doing that. He was like, you know, like if Alex has to go to work a couple days a week, um, Alex had called him too. So he was like, if Alex has to go to work a couple days a week, you know, like whatever. But anyway, and then he said, don't let people make fun of you for the hand washing thing. He goes, I 100% believe in the hand washing thing. He goes, I, Peter, he goes, 35, this is not anything, the hand washing thing is nothing new for anybody in the medical field, which I had said on here too, you know, my experience. He said, but just make sure that you're like constantly washing your hands after what, you know, like several times a day, several, he goes, even if you're just at home, make sure you wash your hands. I did say to him, I go though, is it, you, like I'm taking all this emergency stuff, you know, whatever, and he just kind of laughed at me. And I said, what? He goes, well, he goes, I think that's great for your health. He goes, but I don't know that that's really gonna help you in this situation a whole lot. I was like, okay. So. I told him, I said, you know, like, the last in the last week, like, when I would go to the grocery store, although right now I have to go to pick up my meds at Costco, but I said, um, I've been going, like, late at night, like, to Meyer, And he goes, I think if you're gonna go, that's when you should go. He goes, you know, go late at night. So I told him, I said, if you guys need anything, let me know. He goes, I appreciate it. He goes, but we've, like, so far, our grocery stuff is door dashed and we're completely fine, so. My dad could sit with books in his backyard looking at all of the he bird watches and looks at all the squirrels out there in the lake. My dad could never leave the house again if he had everything he needed and he would be completely fine. <laughs> I was telling Tanya the other day, I was like that Delia Owens book that I just read, that We Are the Crawdads Sing. I kind of wish I was like that right now. Like It makes that so it's about a girl that lives in a shack out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, she really never is interacts with anybody unless she goes to get gas at this like gas station general store that's like on the water. She like never interacts with anybody. And I told Tanya, I said, I kind of wish I lived that life right now, you know? I do think that though. I think that more and more people in the next like month or two, if they're able to travel, will go to places like lake houses and stuff. I really do. I think they'll get as much food and stuff that they can get, and then they'll go to, this, like, if they have lake houses, they'll go. I'm kind of surprised. Like, I have a couple friends of mine that have lake houses and stuff. I'm kind of surprised that they haven't been doing that. If it was me, I probably would. I don't have a lake house. <laughs> my dad lives on a lake, but that's not my lake house. <laughs> and I don't think my dad and my stepmom want Alex and I moving in anytime soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> this would have been a good time to go to Aldi. I've never been before, and it's not very busy right now. very well. You know, I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers. Well, okay, so like I tried to go to bed a little bit earlier last night and by li earlier, I mean 4.30 in the morning. And um, I didn't, it didn't take me as long to fall asleep as it usually does. And I'm not drinking a lot of caffeine. Like I've been drinking orange juice and, um, and not for any like 
to try to stay healthy. I just love orange juice. I love orange juice with a lot of pulp in it. I'm like the only one that loves pulp in their orange juice. I don't know, isn't that funny? But I do. I also asked my dad about hand sanitizer. I think I said, do you think it's foolish? He goes, not at all. He goes, but hand, washing your hands is a hundred times better than hand sanitizer. He goes, but yeah, hand sanitizer, you, if you have it, use it. Um, that license plate, I've never seen that license plate before. Whatever, oh, that's an Indiana license plate. It looks new, I've never seen that before. Um, but like last night, I'm just eating crap. Like I'm eating like chips and dip. Oh my God, and then I reviewed these Oreos yesterday. So I sat there and ate these Oreos and I watched all this TV and then like, oh, and then I made a cup of tea and I sat on the front porch and listened to my audiobook for a little bit and then I started getting tired. Like I think the tea helped me kind of get a little bit relaxed and tired. And so I went to bed. I'm gonna go to the post office first, I think. Just while I'm out, I'm gonna go over there and just check my post office box. Um, but I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers online say, like, they're just, like, lacking complete motivation. They don't really, like, and I get it. Like, I understand. You know, it's hard, like, like, we're waking up every day and there's, like, new news stories out and we don't really know what's going on. And, um, who was I talking to? Who was I talking to? It was a friend of mine. I was talking to somebody that was saying, like, for them, the hardest thing is, I think it's it was Mel, the unknowing. Um, of just not knowing really what's coming next. And I think that's, like, that's what's hard for all of us, you know? Um, and I think that's why we just have to continue to try to do the best we can, stay safe, stay hopeful, you know, try to be compassionate towards one another, try to help those out that we can. Like, you know, if some of us are in situations to go buy groceries for somebody else or whatever to do those kinds of things because a lot of people are really like down like right now you know I cannot believe the mall is still open I'm like looking over at the mall and it is like packed over there today didn't I drive through there yesterday and it was empty I wouldn't say it's packed but I would say there's quite a few people there well on that side maybe it's just something to do over there I don't know um lover's lane is still open if you want to get some lingerie but, um, like, I've seen a lot of, like, YouTubers say, like, I just can't make anything right now, or I'm just, like, down, and I'm just, like, out, and, you know, I get it. Like, I totally understand. Like, it's hard when you wake up and you're in the middle of something to be inspired, to be, like, motivated at all, and, and I sure as hell am not going to shame or guilt trip any YouTuber out there for feeling like they don't want to make any videos right now. I think that each person needs to take care of themselves the way that they need to take care of themselves. But the way that I'm trying to look at it is that I feel so blessed that, and this is just me, but I feel so blessed that there are so many people out there that have, and I've said this before, but I'm, I'm applying it now to this. I feel so blessed that there have been so many people that have allowed me to be part of their day that I'm trying to post videos so that people that want to watch them can kind of get their minds off things, you know, which is why I will continue to vlog and I'll try to make my videos long and all of that, my vlogs long. Um, and I found myself the last couple days just like watching a bunch of just random YouTube videos, so I get it, you know? I had such a fun time doing my review video yesterday with those Oreos. I ended up putting it on my face as makeup. I've got a bunch of things just sitting around. I have like the Bark Box and the Dapper Dog Box for um, March sitting there that I need to do, but I haven't done yet. She was picking her nose. Pick a winner, my mom used to say. <laughs> Pick a winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alex 
just told me today that his work is probably going to be closed for a month. I'm like, and I guess the schools came out and announced that they're going to be closed at least until May. And then people are saying that they're worried that like once it, like if we get it contained, which I guess containment isn't even a thing. I don't know. But anyway, that like it could swipe back up. I'm like, why don't you just like have the kids do e-learning the best of their ability. Everybody passes to the next year and then go back to school in August, you know? But then what do you do for like childcare and stuff like that for the people that have to work right now? this woman that we talked to at Meyer that works at the Meyer and she babysits. She's always telling Tanya about how she babysits. And um, she was like thinking that she was going to have to go down. She said something to Tanya the other night. I wasn't really listening to be honest. I was kind of like ready just to get out of the store. And um, she said to Tanya something about, she was thinking about having to like cut her hours in half because um, she was getting so many babysitting jobs right now. Which I thought was interesting. People are like parking real far away from each other. Like this is like three, like two spaces in between, two spaces in between, two, maybe it's just random, but I'm gonna do it too. Just in case we're not supposed to, you know. My snow thing in the back that gets the snow off my windshield wipers keeps on going. I can hear it back there. It's like rattling around. You can see my key. All right, you guys, listen, I will be back in two and two. Okay, I'm back. Um, I literally like ran in there, checked my PO box and came out. Um, there were like three people inside, like getting packages, like not in the post office box area, but like in the post office area. And I like looked in there cause they have this huge sign when you go in about like social distancing and staying apart. And it's like stay six feet apart per the CDC and all this kind of stuff. And, um, I'm going to go this way. And when I looked inside, I mean, like people were literally like, have you ever been to the post office? <laughs> have you ever seen my post office rant video that I ever did on my drama channel? That's all based hundred percent on truth. Um, people were literally standing six feet apart in there. I've been trying so hard not to touch my face, but I have such a hard time doing it because right here it always itches with my beard. I was just uh, looking on Twitter before I scrolling through Twitter and I saw that Ashley beauty by Ashley um, she's very sweet <clears throat> she and I have always gotten along really well and I think she decided that she wasn't gonna make YouTube videos anymore which really makes me sad um, but I understand that I understand people deciding that it's not for them anymore it just makes me sad because I like their content you know their content, their videos. But anyway, she had said she doesn't understand why Kohl's is still open because like not all non-essential stores are supposed to be closed. I see a lot of non-essential stores open. Like a lot of them. Oh my God, this is so funny. So I'm driving by uh, Home Depot and Tanya said to me the other night when we were driving around, she's tell me some story about the, like the Home Depot and she said, and do you know what the funniest thing is about it? And I said, what? And she 
goes, it's the Home Depot. And I just looked at her and I go, I don't get it, what? And she goes, it's the Home Depot, but we call it Home Depot. So Tanya and I always, like, we put the in front of everything. I think it's kind of an Indiana thing, I don't know. But um, we put the in front of everything, like the Walmart, the Meyer, <laughs> the Target, you know what I mean? Everything, the fountain. We don't even call the gas station a gas station. We usually call it like the fountain pop store. <laughs> So anyway, um, she said, it's the Home Depot. And I go, I don't, like, I don't get it. She goes, it's the Home Depot, but we call it the Home Depot. Like, we just call Home Depot, Home Depot. <laughs> this is so dumb. But we just call it Home Depot, right? And, um, but it is actually the Home Depot. I know this is so stupid. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I was going through the thread over there on um, the Good Judies. Um, so, <clears throat> for those of you that are new that you don't know, um, Mariah was really kind enough to start a thread on Reddit because she knows I love the Reddit so much and it's called the Good Judies. And so it's like a place where, because you know I use the term Good Judy, like my Good Judy Tanya. It's like a place where people that watch my videos and stuff, I, get, I cannot have the heat up so high in here, but like my windshield is frosting over, I don't know why. So, it's just really nice thread and people just post things over there, but I was, you know, people were like issuing moral support for each other and Melody, who is part of the book club, Melody, hey Melody, I don't know if Melody watches the vlogs or not, but just so you know, Melody, I read what she posted and I'm really thinking about you. Melody said that she just found out that like as of today, she lost her job and she's stuck at home and she's already been, you know, quarantined for like two weeks. And um, so anyway, I think if we could all offer each other moral support, you know, I have to tell you something. One of the, I don't know if I talked about this in my vlog last night. I think I did. Excuse me. I think I did. Menards is packed. But, um, See, these strip malls over here, a lot of them are busy. In the E6, mobile device repair. Um, what is this over here that's so busy? Oh, this is a grocery store. Gordon Food Service Store, never heard of it. But anyway, um, One of the things that I think is so fantastic about the vlog, not just the vlog, but all of my channels, and I noticed it a lot on my drama channel video yesterday too, where people were saying like, I'm really struggling, like um, I've been at home for so many days, and people in the comment sections were so nice. They were like, hey, I'm thinking of you, you know, like, People just, you guys are so compassionate, and it's not me, like, it's not like I'm doing anything, it's like you guys with each other, and I think more than ever, if you are somebody that comments on videos, I know there's people that don't ever comment on videos, although I will say this, if you could start liking my videos, that would really mean a lot to me, and I don't typically ever ask for that, um, but I will tell you what's interesting is that every time I ask people to like my videos, my dislikes go up as well, so... But that's engagement on my video, so it just helps my video do better. <clears throat> but I always think that's interesting, you know? It's like, oh, people forgot that they had to dislike it, too. But if you could like my videos, I would really appreciate that. Um, but I think, like, if on every video, if, if you're somebody that reads the comments, if there are people underneath there that are struggling, and maybe we could just use the comment section as a way for camaraderie, you know, right now while we're all stuck at home, and a way to, like, interact with somebody, you know? And if... if you're feeling down and you relate to something that I say, you know, like put in there like, hey, I'm having a tough day or whatever, and maybe like we can all offer them some support, you know what I mean? And um, and I'm probably gonna try to take a couple minutes out of every day to read a few of the comments that are in the comment section below just to kind of stay connected with the people. I think that would, I was, the people, to stay connected with you guys in the comment section below. Like, that's one of the things I really like wanna try to do is not every, like, not every comment, but a few of them during the vlogs. Um, I don't know, just to make some people feel a little special to like talk about it, you know, and if somebody brings up something, even if it's just like, hey, I'm watching this show and this is what I think, or hey, I read this book or whatever, you know, but for us to, um, and maybe a easier way for us to like stay connected. I think I talked about this last night, but Mel and I are thinking about doing some special things for the book club too, like picking a documentary that we could each watch every month and, um, 
like maybe an extra credit book and things like that to kind of just like keep us going and hanging in there, you know? wish the weather was a little bit nicer. Tanya and I were talking about that. I was, when I talked to her on the phone yesterday, I was like, did I say this last night? Because I talked to everybody and then I vlogged at the end. But I was like, you know, if it was like 65 degrees outside and she was like in sunny, she was like, I could go for a sunny day, like nobody's business. She's like, if it was sunny, my spirits would be so lifted. And I think it's true, you know, and I said, well, if it was like 65 outside and a little bit nicer, I said, you know, we could at least go outside and sit outside. I mean, I sat outside last night, but it was chilly. Um, and I just sat out there and like looked at the stars and the sky. All the geese are in our neighborhood right now because we have lakes in our neighborhood. We have two like lakes that the condos are around. And um, like you either are like have woods or lake and we like back up to woods and they like back up the other side of the street backs up to lakes. So anyway, um, there's a lot of geese in the neighborhood and ducks and stuff. And the geese are like walking around the streets. I, I, they do, but they usually kind of congregate in one area. They're like kind of just walking all over the streets now. And it was last night and they were kind of walking around. And I was like, this is kind of funny. I don't remember like the geese like walking around late at night. But anyway. Um, but if it was like started getting warmer, which it should. Because we're almost like, you know, to April. If it started getting warmer, we could maybe... Um, be outside a little bit. Like, I don't know what the temperature is where you guys are at, but like here it's 57, which is nice, but it's rainy. We can't sit on the back porch. If we could sit on the back porch or, you know, I could start working on a garden or something like that. Like, that would be fantastic, you know, but right now it's like If I go in and it's really, really busy, I'm not gonna even attempt to get any other stuff. I'm just gonna get my medication and get out of there. But if it looks kind of slow, I may try to get some stuff because they said, oh, you know what they started? Well, they said the, the, the lanes were moving fast. But you know what they started there? They, they, this is what kills me about Costco and places like this. They used to have self-service aisles and they took them out. They just put them back in. Now they have like like six little stations when you go in there. It's just exactly like Meyer. I can't really tell how busy it is. Because people are parked kind of all over the place. Guess I'll see when I get in there. Gas is like at an all time low. I filled up my tank. I'm just trying to kind of like keep it between a half tank and full. I need to take that snow thing out of there. It's not busy at all at Costco. I think I'm going to try to get a few things. This woman has a red cape on and it like is kind of reminiscent of Little Red Riding Hood but it's so adorable. It's like all buttoned up. I love red. I don't wear red enough. I don't necessarily look great in red. But I love red on other people. I'm gonna park out here. Yeah, it's not too busy today, I don't think. Okay. All right, you guys, I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Well, Costco really wasn't that bad. My feet are soaking wet, though. I have my sandals on. Costco wasn't that bad. It wasn't that busy. I got in, I got out. But let me tell you about my medicine. So, I, like, shopped and stuff, and then I went to the, um, the um, pharmacy last, and it was a different person than I had yesterday, but the other person was there. 
And she said, yeah, they can't fill it till tomorrow. And I said, well, she told me that yesterday. And she said, well, we have a 24, uh, we have a 24 hour turnaround um, from when like it's put in or when insurance approves it or something. Which I thought I was down to like the last couple days of it. And they have now started separating. Um, so this is my epilepsy medicine. They've now started separating it into two bottles instead of just one larger bottle. And the other bottle was in the back. So I was like, I still have like four days left. And I said, well, I'm fine for a couple days. Um, she said, we have to send them out and they come like from like a warehouse and then they come over here, which they thought, I, I didn't really understand what she was saying. Cause she was like, we can fill it for you right now. We have it here. She looked and she was like, we have it here. And I was like, um, I said, no, that's okay. I said, I'll just come tomorrow and get it. And she was like, are you sure? And I said, yeah, that's fine. I'll just come tomorrow and get it. Um, so I have to come back to the Costco tomorrow. It wasn't that busy in there, but I will tell you that they had, um, they had Lysol cleaning wipes. They had a lot of steak and stuff, which I don't eat, but like they had a lot of meat. Um, they had bread. I got a huge thing of juice cause I'm going through juice like crazy. Um, I got us for dinner tonight, um, a big mac and cheese that we can like, I love their mac and cheese here. Um, it's the kind they make like in the deli session section that we can't, it's pouring down rain that we can use. Um, and then have for another day or two. And then I got croissants, um, as well because Alex loves croissants and I like croissants and that'll be like a nice little dinner for us. And what else did I get? I got him some popcorn because he likes that um, Smart Pop. And I can't remember what else I got. I think that's it. So anyway. All right. Let's head home. I will say this. There was a lot of people in there that were wearing face masks. Which, aren't they like sold out? Where are people getting these face masks? It's so hot in here. I just turned it down from 74 to 70 and it's like, whoa. Um. Oh, I just turned up the radio instead of turning down the heat. So now I'm gonna go home and um, make a few videos. They had some puzzles in there. I was like looking to see the puzzles because I ordered some puzzles on Amazon. But now people are telling me that they won't come for a while, I guess. I don't know, because they're just doing, they're just shipping essentials. So, but they only have these like, they have Frozen 2 that was like 300 pieces and they have like a Star Wars one that was like 300 pieces. And I was like, no, I'm kind of, oh, I know what else I got. I got a huge thing of Diet Cokes for Tanya, 35 Diet Cokes for 10.99. That's cheap, don't you think? Um, so. I've only drank like one of my Diet Cokes that I got. God, the mall is completely closed. It's so weird to drive by and see like Macy's and Von Mar and Dick's Sporting Goods and everything just completely just closed. Nothing. People really were keeping their distance in there though. And I have to say that people Yesterday, it seemed a little different. Today, people were very considerate of each other and smiling and letting people pass. Um, I went through the self-checkout and she was really super nice. The people that were working in there are so nice. And she came and just like scanned all my stuff and I was like out of there real quick. Um, <clears throat> I waited in line two minutes. I mean, it really wasn't that long at all. So. I've been kind of craving a uh, Hardee's Beyond Burger Sausage Biscuit with cheese. They are so good. If I stay up late enough one of these nights, I might as well just go over there and get breakfast. <laughs> Drive through. 
Bring it home. You know, it's interesting because like every once in a while you'll go to the store and you'll see like paper towels or toilet paper or like the Lysol wipes and stuff like that. But I haven't seen since it sold out originally any hand sanitizer, like none. I haven't seen any of like the travel bottles that I keep with me. And I know people are like making it at home, like with rubbing alcohol and stuff, but you can't buy rubbing alcohol anywhere. So. I don't know if there's some special trick on where to get. I've like kept on looking on Amazon thinking that like, well, I mean, it, it wouldn't matter anyway, would it? Because they're not, they can't deliver it, I guess. But I keep on looking on Amazon to see like if they're gonna like turn around and like restock it because it says it just says out of stock, out of stock, out of stock on like every single one of them. Um, but you would think it sooner or later that they would restock on that stuff, you know what I mean? Or like it would be available in the stores and whatever. I will say this, like that most of the things like the paper towels and the toilet paper and the water and whatever when you go to it, it'll say like limit like one or limit two or whatever. Somebody is texting me. And I feel like people are being really considerate of that, which is nice. Um, Four here and just down the street, it's dollar seventy-seven. I think I paid like a dollar ninety when I gassed up. Oh, that was sweet. That was like an old friend of mine that texted me and said she hopes I'm. Me and my family are staying healthy during all this. That was really sweet. Her family has like a lake house in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota. I can tell you that's where I would probably be right now. Michael's is still open. 40% off everything it says. PetSmart is open. reading this article about like did I say this the other day I read this article a couple days ago like is this the new normal you know I don't know I hope people is half price books open there's people there I can't imagine half price books is open yeah they got the thing outside and everything I know some businesses are trying to cling on as long as they can, and I understand as local business owners, but I don't know that I think it's a smart thing. Bicycle garage Indy. Parking lot packed. Fresh time is real busy. Grocery store. It's time for me to get home and hunker down for the rest of the day and make some videos and just relax.
think when I get done with 13 Reasons Why, I don't know what I'm gonna watch next. I kind of wanna watch Unbelievable because I heard it was really good. I may watch the Golden State Killer thing, but when I get done with the book that I'm reading right now, which is taking me forever to read, this Ferris Beach book, when I get done reading that, I think I'm gonna read The Handmaid's Tale because I really wanna watch that on Hulu. Although Tanya told me that it would completely freak me out right now because it's, she's like, it has some kind of notes that kind of sing to what's going on right now in the world. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, she was like, but you know. It's like the trending movies right now, which is interesting as a society. <laughs> Not that I don't love these things too, because I've been like wanting to watch, read zombie books lately, which, okay, it's probably crazy, but like that's just like my mind has been going to zombie books lately because of, you know, whatever. And, um, but like the number one trending movies right now are like Contagion and Outbreak. I heard that pandemic thing on Netflix was good too. I haven't seen it, but I will probably watch it. I made a list last night of all the shows I wanna watch. That is like a matte gray Porsche um, Cayenne. That is gorgeous. It's kind of different than a Cayenne though, is it? It's not a Cayenne. It's a, the one that starts with an M, a Mecca or something. I don't know what that is, but like it's got, it's beautiful. What is it called? I don't know. I don't know cars. I don't know much, but I know I love you. My God, do you guys remember that song from back in the day? All right, I'm going to get off here for a little while, and I will be back. I'm almost home. So I will be back in just a little while. Love you guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. I thought we would... uh Go get a fountain pop. Y'all wanna go get a fountain pop? This is the new way Peter's getting a fountain pop in the vlog. <laughs> oh. It is 12.30 uh, a.m. It is warm outside. I don't know how it got warmer, but it's 64 degrees. So I turned on my car, because I'm gonna turn the air on a little bit. It's raining a little bit or I would, well it's not raining a lot, I guess I could open the windows, but I don't know that I want my neighbors if they come outside to hear me vlogging because I'm sitting in the driveway. I am experiencing great cabin fever. Um, but I thought I would just kind of, who is texting me? Tanya. I said, I'm bored. And she texted me back and she said, yeah, me too. Um, but I, just, I thought I would come out here and talk about what's been going on with Peter. I guess I should put some lip gloss on too. I just took a shower. Well, actually I laid down at like, what time did I lay down? So we ate dinner, I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, well, I can tell you about it now, I guess. Um, while I was at, uh, when I was at Costco today, um, I picked up one of those big macaroni and cheeses that are like in the deli, I think I said that earlier. So we had that for dinner tonight, we each had a croissant. Um, and it was nice, I guess, having a little family dinner. It didn't feel a whole lot different than if we get carry out, because it's really nothing, you know? But I for, like I remember really liking that mac and cheese, but, um, it's super cheap, first of all. You get like a huge thing of it and it's like five something. I mean, it's literally like this big. Like this long and then like this wide. Um, but their little deli meals are really good. Maybe, you know what, I think it was um, when Alex's dad was visiting and we had like a bunch of people over. We had like the whole family, all the cousins and everything. Um, that I made, I, that I made, that we picked up like two of the chicken Alfredos there. I think they have that, that that's really good. I should get one of those for Alex. I didn't even think about that. He would love that. Um, I mean, I can't eat it obviously because there's chicken in it, but I did buy some pasta though the other day when I was at the grocery store. Um, and then I got some, the only butter they had left was plant-based butter by 
country crock. Alex ended up getting some butter, so he's got some, then I got some tomato sauce, so we can make pasta one or two nights. Um, maybe I'll do carry out pasta one of these nights. I have a feeling it's just a matter of time before like the restaurants and the carry out are closed down too, so. Maybe we'll do that, I don't know. But I went upstairs and I, I laid down probably at like, like 10 o'clock? I don't know when it was. I watched half an episode of um, 13 Reasons Why. And I, I have, you guys know this if you watch my vlog regularly anyway. I've gotten quite a few new followers over here or subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you have people that are, you know, friends and family that are stuck inside like everybody else right now, please, um, I feel like it's even kind of redundant to even say that. Isn't that almost all of us? Um, except for people that have to work like in hospitals and places like that. Um, please tell them about my vlog and my videos and um, encourage them to come over here and, you know, follow along with all of us. I do think that this is probably an apropos moment though to say something on here. Um, and then I'll tell you about what I, the rest of my day. But, um, which is really not that exciting anyway. So, um, maybe tell a story or something here in a second. Oh, I was gonna turn on the air and I never did that. How do you turn on the air? Oh no, we don't. Oh, the vented seat, that might be nice. <laughs> that might be nice right now. Try something new. Do you hear that? I like that. Okay, well, we'll turn the air down. It's 64, so let's turn it down to 62. Let's see if... I mean, it doesn't really matter if the windows fog up, does it? Oh, that feels good. Um, you know, okay, about, I think it was about so this is my, I think, I did I did 2017, 2000, what year did I start my, my vlog on? I was like, am I going on my third year? I think this is me going on my third year. But I could be wrong, and this could be me going on my first year. Hold on a second. Peter Vlogs. God, I can't believe I don't know this. Not my first year. This could be me going on my fourth year, but I think it's my, this is my third consistent year. Videos. Day added oldest. Oh my, year in my life begins 21, 21 minutes, 25,000 views. Um, let's see what the date is on this one, hold on. The 17th, so 17th, 18th, 19th. Oh, this can't be my fourth year. Is this my fourth year of vlogging? Oh my lord. So, Y'all should go back and watch from the very beginning if you want to see some truths, okay? I mean, Lord, it's been a long road, hasn't it? So 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, so this is my fourth year. Well, I've had to kind of, um, you know what's funny is, if you go on here, and most popular, I think it's Fox Hollow Farms. Fox Hollow Farms, 33,000 views. And that's the one where Melissa and Aaron and I, we went and did, um, that's from two years ago, we did the paranormal investigation at the Herb Baumeister Mansion, Fox Hollow Farms. And then the second most popular one is the first video that we ever did, A Year of My Life, begins. I honestly never thought I would make it past 30 days on this vlog, I just didn't. Um, and then All the Secrets, November 10th, probably because of the title. And then the fourth one is A Busy L.A. Day. That was, in, Amelia Fart is in the picture. Oh, my fifth one was Shopping with My Best Friend with Tanya Jean. Oh, that was such a good one. That was so much fun. Oh my God, the sixth one is Late Night Best Friend Shopping. That was fun. I don't know what this one is. I changed my mind October 21st. I don't know what that one is. Gay YouTube Couple, January 19th vlog three years ago. What a title. You can't title your videos out anymore. They don't like those gay titles anymore. Um, that looks like my aunt and uncle's house. It says one year ago. Who is this? October 4th? Special guest appearance. I wonder by who. Oh, that's, that's Melissa and Jason. Aww. I 
think like that's one of the hardest things right now is like taking for granted just being around to be being able to be around people you know I'm just not ever like that much around people and you know I'm not saying that I wouldn't you know see a friend for like a dinner if it was just like a couple of us but I don't I think people are saying not even to do I don't know I don't know anyway I'm not saying that I wouldn't do that but and like I said I'm gonna continue to see my good Judy Tanya um but this is probably time for me to remind people, this is not a new rule, I'm just gonna tell you, okay? It's not even really a rule. It's a play at your own risk kind of thing. But there was a time on this vlog where I was getting really, really nasty comments. And it wasn't just that I was getting nasty comments. It was that, and, and listen, for me, I just want y'all to know, there's a fine line between giving constructive criticism and somebody uh, just really like coming for you, right? And let me tell you how I can kind of tell the difference is like if it happens once, I'm kind of like, okay, like you know what, maybe they were having a bad day, maybe they felt very strongly about that situation, whatever. Because typically if it's somebody that watches regularly, they might say something like, hey Peter, like you know, whatever. But like, we're all grown boys and girls, we know how to talk to people, okay? And there's nice ways to talk to people and there's mean ways to talk to people. If it happens a second time or a third time, I'm like, okay, this person's gunning for me. They don't need to watch my channel. And so what I do is I just block you from the ability to leave a comment on my channel. And if you recreate another account and you come over and leave another comment like that, I'm just gonna block that one too. I made that rule about two years ago. I didn't even, I, I was being completely transparent. I almost never delete comments from my other channels unless, well, for my Peterisms one, there really isn't a reason to nor my booktube one. Um, and if it's somebody's opinion about a book, I just kind of let them have it, right? My Peter Mon video gets so many comments and I just kind of like go through and read the comments like real quick. But like, even if somebody comes for me and they, usually over there, that's where I get the comments about like my voice or somebody saying something, you know, uh, uh, but it's not like a, let me pick apart your character. On this channel, this is kind of my safe place, right? This is where I am allowed to grow as a human being. This is where I'm gonna talk about mistakes that I've made. This is gonna be where I admit that I don't really know things, right? And especially with the condition of what we're going through right now, and I've worked very, very hard to say that the number one thing is that this is just my experience that I'm sharing over here. I'm not in any way putting out any expert information or acting like I am whatsoever, okay? But if people are going to come and they are just going to like decimate me in the comment sections, you're gonna be blocked immediately, okay? Not just for me, but for the people that have dedicated their hearts and souls from the very beginning of this vlog and have literally watched every minute. And I know that I have 20, 30 haters out there that watch every minute of every one of my vlogs. More power to you, I wish you the best, okay? But the majority of the people that watch this vlog on a nightly basis watch it to relax, to lay, to bed, lay in bed, to clean, to make dinner, you know, that kind of stuff when they could to go run errands and pick up their kids, they would listen to it in the background. And I just don't want the comment section to be about that, number one. Number two is that this is a place that I, I don't listen, I don't make hardly any money on this channel, okay, almost none. And then on top of that, you know, I'm trying to really work hard at doing longer vlogs because I know people enjoy them over here, to then read comments where people are just like, you know, blah, 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 calling me names. I, I literally today, and it was like four names that I had never seen these people before. I went through and I blocked all four of them. I was like, this is not necessary. You obviously do not know how to talk to other, pe other people out there, okay? The other thing I wanna say is this. Um, in Jean, the only time I've ever taken a break in four years is, and I, I will tell you, like, I am totally, totally open to open criticism. And I actually, um, uh, totally open to constructive criticism. In fact, like, um, and I think these, these comments are bordering on maybe not even being that nice, but, well, one of them. But, like, I even, I, this is a comment that I think is totally fair. So somebody said, maybe instead of buying a $300 bottle of cologne, you can order takeout and leave a $300 tip. A lot of people need help right now. And I totally agree with that, right? And, but this is, I just also want to explain this. This is like very, for me, like I know back in the day, people thought I scripted these and I sat down and I actually like, whatever. This is just what comes out of my mouth. I don't know if you guys can imagine like driving around for an hour and uh, two hours and just blah, 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 whatever, right? You know, my friend had actually just like sent me this thing. I didn't end up buying the cologne or the perfume, 
But I guess if I had, would you guys prefer that I just got on here and lied about it and acted like I, I was something that I wasn't? Because, I mean, I even said this in my vlog, I think. I even said, like, I realized, like, in this time of what's going on, that's ridiculous, and I, I don't need that. I think I said something like that. If I didn't, and I can go back and look, that was my sentiment. That was why I didn't. I was like, I don't need to do this. The other thing is, I'm not going to be the YouTuber that comes on here and shows you guys evidence of how I help other people, but that doesn't mean that I'm not doing it. And I just want to make that very, very clear, you know? Um, one of the things that my friend Tanya said on our video that we did on my main channel was something about people that, one of the questions was, what was something that people wouldn't know about Peter? And she said, all of the service work that he does and he never talks about. Okay, I'm... I say this every night in my vlog. I'm a big believer in altruism. I'm a big believer in doing things and not telling anybody about it, okay? When you see somebody that is like showing you how they're helping other people, that says a lot to me, okay? I, I don't know what that's about. I think that's fantastic. If you're using it as evidence to inspire and motivate other people, to help other people, I think that's fantastic. But just because I'm not talking about it on here doesn't mean that I'm not doing it. And I'm not going to continue to... I, I feel like I'm defending myself right now. I am defending myself right now. But, um... But I also don't want to be fake on here. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. And... One of my biggest issues before I ever got on YouTube and being on it is fake YouTubers. I just, I don't like them. I always said if I was going to be in a relationship on YouTube, it was going to be 100% real. I was going to talk about, I have talked about the ins, the outs, the bad, the good, the ugly on with my husband and I. Because that's real marriage, you know? I talked about marriage counseling, I've talked about all of it. In three plus years at this point, I have vlogged every single day with the exception of um, the week after PP died. And I took that week off and you guys were so kind to be patient and like wait and you were so encouraging. And you know, before that, if you watched, okay, I said that because I had shared some personal stuff and we got some really just nasty emails. People were emailing my friends and my family. I, people are ruthless, okay? They just, there are some ruthless people out there. And um, not to be mistaken with the, the movie with Bette Midler and Judd Hirsch, but um, anyway, people were just being really, um, I could be, use a little cooler in here below. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, people were being really, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh God, why? It starts with an I. Why can't I think of the word I'm looking for? People were just really going places with my life that they didn't need to. Like with my friends, my family, my brother and sister, stuff like that. It just was ridiculous. And so at that point, I said I wasn't going to be sharing anything personal on here that Alex and I had talked about it. And then when PP passed away, and literally after I posted the post, I was getting messages from people that were saying, um, you know, like, how convenient and whatever. I mean, I got so much positivity, but we got enough messages, like, I would say a, f a few, but enough that they hurt to read them, um, were in emails from people saying, like, you know, this was convenient, you did this just so you could go out of t It was just really some sick stuff, right? That I came back on and I said I was going to talk about what I wanted to talk about on here and that my husband 100% supported me. Well, part of that decision was also that, like, if people can't come to my comment sections and come correct, then you're not going to come at all. That you can watch it, but I'm going to block you, okay? And by that, what I mean is that there's a nice way to say things. You know, I got criticized, I think, by two separate people for driving around. First of all, I went to the pharmacy, okay? And I went to the post office. Two things I am legally allowed to do right now, okay? Number one, um, I had read all the articles for the state of Indiana, read every single one of them, okay? That said, in, like, advised against. It didn't say you weren't allowed to, it said advised against. But you could still go to these essential places. And people were, like, reprimanding me for, like, being in a car. There's probably not, I'm, and I'm not going to continue to do it because we're not supposed to. So I'm going to, I'm a rule follower, okay? I really am. I'm more of a rule follower than people think I am. But, like, there's really not a whole lot safer place than me walking out of my car, getting in this car, driving around for an hour, coming back and going back. 
I rarely ever go in places. I don't know if you've watched my vlogs or not, but like I don't, I don't interact with anybody when I'm vlogging. Like this is probably one of the safest things you can do is getting in a car and vlog right now, you know? And I think the thing that's interesting to me is it's like we're not in the middle of, middle of a snowstorm. Like that advising against going places is public places. It's not about being out on the road. Our governor today encouraged people to go to state parks. He encouraged people to get in your car and drive to a state park, but just keep distance from other people to enjoy the indie parks. That was encouraged by our governor today. So yeah, you're allowed to be out on the roads, okay? You're just not supposed to be going out a ton right now. And that may change. Tomorrow, that may change. But I'm telling you today, I was on the phone with Tanya while I was at Costco and she said, um, that they had just told us to like go to the state parks and stuff like that and I looked it up and it was true So that may change tomorrow and when it does You know that I won't go out as much as I do But I'm like only going to the pharmacy in the grocery store and to be honest with you tonight They like changed all the hours to the places. Oh the song. Oh my god I downloaded this song from 13 reasons why it is so depressing. It's called funeral by Phoebe Bridges Bridgers It's a pretty song, but it's just real depressing so Valerie sent me this thing tonight that was on Facebook, apparently. Hold on. Walmart new hours, 7 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. They have senior hours, but only every Tuesday. Target new hours, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Walgreens new hours, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Meyer new hours, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So everything is going to be closed by 10. So I know what they're going to do. They're already, they probably know something that we don't know. And they're probably going to be putting in some kind of like time thing, right? But what's interesting to me is that when you look at the time like that you're not supposed to be out, like being around, it's usually during the day in some places. It's like, well, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know. I, the ones I have seen have, have been like from a certain point in the morning to a certain point in the evening, like late at night, like. I guess it's whatever. But I'm gonna follow whatever the rules are, you know? I will do that. But listen, you guys, okay? I'm completely open to you guys saying to me, like Peter, okay? You need, you're you not using hand sanitizer correctly. You got in your car, you touch your keys, you touch this, you touch that, and then you put your hand sanitizer on. Okay, I'm t listen, I need to hear those signs of things. I'm completely open to constructive criticism. If you wanna come over here and think that I'm the biggest idiot in the entire world, if you, like, if you, this is what kills me, right? Like, if you really are feel strong enough that you wanna type out a paragraph to somebody because you really feel strong enough about that opinion, and you want somebody to change as a result of that, this is like not just about YouTube. This is about in real life. Think about this, okay? If you're taking the time to talk to somebody or to let them know your opinion, don't you really want them to listen to your opinion? Don't you want them to possibly change how they are as a person based on what you're saying? And if you come at somebody attacking and calling them names, I don't know about you, but I shut down. I don't hear it, right? But if you come to me and you say, you know what, Peter, like... I was a little concerned. It seems like you didn't really understand, blah, blah, blah. Here, I found it for you. Let me link it for you. Not to mention this wasn't the first time that this person had come for me. This was a couple times, right? So I think like at that point, it's like you can say things in nice ways, right? You don't have to call people names. You don't have to act like they're ignorant and things like that. And we can all be nice to one another on here. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I have no clue what's going on in the world right now, okay? <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. I'm just doing the best I can as a, like you guys. And I'm going to make some mistakes. And I'm going to learn as I go. And I'm hoping that you're understanding of that. I, am, I, I don't pertain to be anybody's role model on this channel. I just don't, okay? That I know it, handling this whole situation well. I'm learning a lot from you guys. I mean, I'm sitting there in, in, at the house and telling Alex and stuff like, oh, so-and-so said this, and so-and-so said this in my comment section. So please educate me, right? Please. But don't condemn me for not knowing something or not understanding fully or grasping fully the situation. Um, just to say that. And no, I didn't buy no $300 cologne. <laughs> But God, it was hard. But you know, here's the thing. It's like, you know, I don't know how long we're gonna, you know, this, people are talking about this thing being a year, you know, like, it's gonna change how we do everything. And I know that there are people out there that are really, really, really struggling, you know, but. There are people out there that are buying the $300 cologne. At least I'm trying to be honest about it, I guess, is all I'm saying. <laughs> it's not gonna matter. But just in the future, I just want y'all to know that. Okay, I try to create a safe place on this vlog and in the comment sections. And I didn't think I had anything to talk about on here today, but here I'm gonna put on some of this non-effective hand spray. <laughs> but just kind of, let's just be nice to one another. I'm 
totally open to criticism, you guys. I'm totally, totally open to criticism. I think I saved another comment on there. Yeah, like, I didn't think that person's comment was rude at all. Um, and I, like, I read it and I totally agreed, <laughs> you know? Like, I probably should. Um, there was another comment. Oh, well, let's just end that for right now. I'm just gonna stop, hold on. I probably actually had about 10 more seconds, 10 more minutes, 10 more seconds, but I was like, whatever. Um, and you know, and I'll be honest with you, if, I, if you find out that you were blocked on my channel and you wanna email me and you wanna say, hey, this is my username and you know what, like I didn't really understand or I was a little heated or whatever, or I'm new to your channel or whatever, but I would like to continue to be able to comment and you know, you wanna reach out to me and have a conversation, I'm totally open to that and I'm totally open to unblocking you. I just wanna say, okay? But you have to understand too, it's like, I think this is a time where I don't know all I'm gonna say is this you know in teaching moments in my life when people have have taught me things about how to be a better person or when I have screwed up or when I have gotten information wrong or whatever the way that I have learned best is when people have said to me and I'm not telling people to treat me with kid gloves okay but if you want me to listen to you, I'm telling you, this is how I will hear you. Otherwise, I probably won't. Do you see the steering wheel is like, it's, you can see the shadow on my face. Um, is when people have come to me and said, hey, listen. You, they don't even have to say, I like you, I love you, I care about, you don't even have to say that shit. You just say, listen, Peter, okay? Like, I appreciate that you saw it this way. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. And I just wanted to let you know. You know what I mean? Um, in recovery, we are taught that when somebody does something in a meeting, like crosstalks, for example, okay, or uh, whatever, or maybe, you know, call somebody out by their first and last name, okay, that things that we don't do, okay, you don't shame that person in the middle of the meeting. You don't look at him and go, you, you stupid SOB. No. You pull him aside after the meeting and you say, hey, I just want to let you know. Like, um, I don't know if you, if, if you didn't know, but we don't cross talk in meetings. And this is the reason why, because we got to give each person their time and whatever, you know? And you say, just, hey, listen, if you need to know anything, let me know. Let me know, okay? You know? It just takes that much to be a decent human being. Like, let's just be for real. Can we just be a little bit more decent to one another? This is the time. And my fear is this, okay? Because in the last couple days, I have noticed that there are some comments on my channel. And, and this is, so stay with me when I say this, okay? The la And I don't know if this is because there's newer people that have watched my channel, but there's a lot of people that are like, I just found your vlog and I love you, blah, 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 whatever. Or, you know, they're just like leaving encouraging messages. So that's really nice, thank you. And I don't need all of that glowingness, I just don't. But I do need people to, to talk to me like I'm a human being, okay? Not to talk down to me, not to be condescending to me, not to be patronizing and calling me names. Like, that's ridiculous, okay? We don't need to talk to each other that way. But I will say that the thing I'm noticing is I'm seeing a lot of, like, real, like, cruel talk. Not just on my, like, that. I wouldn't even say the comments on my vlog were anywhere near cruel. I wouldn't even say that. They weren't even, I would, I, I just, they weren't that bad. But, unnecessary, but they weren't that bad. And it wasn't even the sentiment of what they said, it was how they said it. Um, but I'm noticing all over social media and stuff like that, I'm like, I hope this is not gonna get, like the more that people are like stuck at home and can't go places and whatever and feel like, um, well I'm out of a job and I don't have any money. Well I'm out of a job and I have less money than you and well I have less money than you do and you don't know, I mean, I hope it doesn't like get into this rage of fury. I mean this is a time to come together, okay? This is a time for us to show camaraderie and humanity towards one another and that really scares me that we're gonna get to a point where people, like everything we learned about being, being these, hell it was all going down the hill, any or down, down the tubes anyway with, uh, what do you call it? Um, with social media anyway, so it just, I don't know. It worries me. I just think that this is such an opportune time for us to start tre treating and speaking to each other a little bit nicer. Anyway, what do you guys think? I wanted to show you something. We'll move on.
Um, where is that? That air sure isn't working a whole bunch. Probably because I'm just sitting here. Oh, uh, well, I found this. <laughs> Speaking of something I wanted, somebody had this little, it was, I'm sure it's fake, this gold, well, I can't show you, but anyway, it's just this little happy face gold necklace, it's real small. Anyway, um, my sister-in-law posted this on our Instagram tonight. <laughs> it's this mom, and she's holding her <laughs> face like this, <laughs> like praying, and it says, homeschooling is going well, two students, but this is like a meme she posted from somebody else. Homeschooling is going well. Two students suspended for fighting and one teacher fired for drinking on the job. And the teacher is falling in love with the father of one of her students. <laughs> oh my God, I live. That's so hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going through my screenshots. So, you guys know that I love... Uh, I'm totally clickbaiting the hell out of this video, too, and I'm calling it Going for a Fountain Pop. I'm just going to tell you right now, okay? Because this is the first time I've ever done this, I think. Sat in the driveway and drank a Diet Pepsi, but I'm kind of, or Diet Coke. I'm kind of living for it. Oh, now I wish I had a Diet Pepsi. Oh, well, Diet Cokes. I've got Tanya 35, 35 Diet Cokes over there. I said, Tanya, I should have bought myself one. I didn't even think about it. And she goes, well, we can split them if you want. I was thinking, no, I'll keep it. <laughs> I'll buy you a 12-pack. <laughs> so, anyway, um... You guys know that I love Nick and Poncho, right? Um, Nick, who's the, guy, the Italian guy, and his little dog, Poncho, his little chihuahua that was 10 years old, who just passed away, like, last week. I was devastated when I found out that he had passed away. And um, so today, he put up a video. You guys, it was so sweet. It was real short. It was only, like, six minutes long, five minutes long. And it was called Ciao Poncino. And um, I literally, I sat on the front porch and I just like sobbed watching it. I came inside and Alex was like, I heard you crying out there. I was like, how did you hear me crying watching a YouTube video? He was like, I could hear you crying. And he was like, what is it? And he knows that he knows I watch Nick and Poncho and I show. He, that, they're probably the only YouTubers that I've ever like. Well, I mean, Alex knows like other YouTubers now, like Shane Dawson, and uh, you know, he loved like the, back in the day when I was watching tons of Trisha Paytas, and he knows who those people are. Gigi Gorgeous. Um, who else does he know that I'll, I'll talk to him about? Oh, Tyler Oakley. Um, who else? We watched some of Rylan Adams' videos together. He, like, thinks to look, Rylan Adams is really funny. I think Rylan Adams is... I used to not get it. Like, I used to understand his humor, but I kind of really like Rylan now. Like, he did this thing yesterday on Instagram Story where he was, like, sitting in front of... It was so, like, how I am to Alex. He was, like, sitting in front of Shane, and, like, Shane was, like, recording him, and it was just being, like, real sweet. Like, and, um, I just think that Rylan's a really nice guy. But who else is the other person? Well, Alex used to watch the Glows All Green videos back in the day, but I don't even think she posts. She, I don't know what she posts anymore. I went on her channel the other day, and I was like, this... I'm confused. But anyway... I wish I, uh... I wish I... I wish I had a million dollars. That's not how it goes. If I had a million dollars... My mom and I loved that song. Um... Is there a way that you can look up your YouTube history? I know there is. Time watched. God, this will be good. Last seven days. You guys, you'll die when you hear this. Only three hours and 41 minutes. <laughs> oh my God, and I'm a drama channel. Okay. Um, Peter Mont, how do you find your history inbox Dude, I didn't know that we still had an inbox <laughs> what's library what does that mean oh here it is history okay 
So these are the videos that I watched. Oh, today, that special guest appearance, because I was trying to see what that was, that was my vlog. Then I watched um, Tanner Kearns, Tanner Kearns! I can't do this anymore, so Tanner I've watched for years, and he and I are good friends, and when I first found him, he was like 23 or 24, and I was like, okay, this kid totally reminds me of myself when I was his age. So he just came out with merch. Although he's not calling it merch, he's just calling it shirts. He's actually sending me one, and it says, um, hey ladies on it. It's really cute. Um, and then I watched Ciao Pancino. And then my video, because I had watched my video before I posted it. And then um, somebody sent me this. Urgent messages from Italians. Oh, no, I actually, this is a viral video. I saw an article about this. Um, and then so, Nick Cotto, Avocado, Stephanie Sue video because I was looking for a thumbnail. And then, hold on a second. Uh, Ferret shows human her babies. You guys, it's going to get real bad. Get ready, okay? The cotton candy melted a doggo begging for a bath. <laughs> a puppy going into the bathtub by herself. <laughs> Why oh Russ, do we quit? Kiss in public, Popeye's new chicken sandwich, which it totally was clickbait because it was not the chicken sandwich. Um, I was watching some of their videos I hadn't watched in a while. Can we suck our own package? <laughs> Wyo Russ, which has nothing to do with that. It's all clickbait. They're so funny. They're such a sweet couple. And Montana guys react to Eminem's Lose Yourself. Uh, Nicole Rich Richie teaches me her famous spaghetti. That was, I loved that video. Uh, and then all these videos from that, a dinosaur because she did the glitter box of Trisha's. And so I started watching her, a bunch of hers. Um, then uh, Trisha, my second glitter box is here because I hadn't seen her do that. I wanted to see that. Um, and then this Ale Alexandria Ryan did a subscription box of hers. I started watching this Roseanne Barr live stream because it came up in my recommended, but I just couldn't get into it. It just depressed me to even watch it. 20 strict rules RuPaul's Drag Race contestants must follow. I'm Just so you know, there's a couple of these that I'm skipping along the way. Like, there's a couple videos that I'm not telling you guys about. Um, and then The Morning After by, with Jane Fonda. I just watched that on here the other day. Hey guys, let's hang out live. Raw Beauty Christie. I was in her live stream. The Morning After movie. I watched again. The Morning After movie because I watched it in like three things. Idol history is made as contestant walks in. Um, climax. Meeting in the ladies room. <laughs> I never wanted to make this video by Manny MUA. I'm skimming some of these videos just, just to say. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't know what this video is, but I just hit a video by accident. Okay. These are all my videos. Uh, Queer Eyes Tan France takes Pete Davidson shopping. That was a good, that was kind of a funny video, kind of. What other reviews didn't tell you? Tell you okay, the Jen Loves Reviews video. And Angelica Ohl's video. I'm skipping a lot of these. Girl is trying to sing I Will Always Love You. That Ashley Gay video where that girl was like, and yes, she is my mother. <laughs> and no, sh and yes, she does wear a bra. Uh, my dog's reaction after three days without me, Nick and Poncho, Guilty Chihuahua, Nick and Poncho, Why Chihuahuas Don't Run in the Snow, Nick and Poncho, Halloween Chihuahua, Trick or Treat, Nick and Poncho. So sad. Christy McNichol and Scott Baya. I fell down this rabbit hole. There's literally like seven videos here of what happened to Christy McNichol. <laughs> don't ask! Don't ask! Okay, she's fine. She's totally fine. Um... There's like tons of drama videos in here, okay? Just of like drama, 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 drama that I've like watched of other people's drama about drama, about other drama. When I, how to win the major jackpot on lightning strike. <laughs> I found that for Valerini. Valerini! <laughs> She's bored. She and I talked tonight too. Why, uh, uh, why I need to take down my Jacqueline Hill and Morphe reviews, my Jen Loves reviews. The main theme to uh, Basic Instinct. Korean, bar Korean barbecue mukbang with Bretman Roth as James Charles video. Let's see if there's anything in here that would surprise anybody. Um, uh, 
a whole bunch of look at hers, look at hers on um, Hey Queen, Educating Rita, that movie. I started watching that. I might watch that tonight. I didn't finish that. Just a bunch of stupid videos. Rookie Dylan's video coming out. That was a really great video. He is such a nice guy. And, um... Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp on SNL. That was hilarious. Okay, these are all my SNLs that I watched. Uh, Every Chad Ever, part one on SNL. Every Chad Ever, part two on SNL. Old New York Show, SNL. Thirsty Cops, SNL. Drag Brunch, SNL. These are all with RuPaul, SNL. Chad and RuPaul, SNL. That one was hilarious. Um, yeah, drama videos, drama videos, drama videos, drama videos, drama videos, drama videos. Um... Oh, a lot of these are mine. I was like, that thumbnail is horrible. I looked at it, it was mine. My thumbnails have gotten better recently. SNL, SNL. The Library SNL with RuPaul is probably one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, so Peter, what did you do tonight? Well, here's a, this video just came up from the Taco. That's a new channel that I've been watching a lot. It's like a, it's like a drama channel, but it's like, you know like that, um, that Nikki one. It's like a big drama channel. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like one that, um, not really even a drama channel. It's like they do like the talk of the voiceovers. They've been like this one got like, oh shit, it's gone. Um, I know five months ago, 446,000 views. The private life of uh, drag queen RuPaul. It's like 10 minutes. They're all like 10 to 12 minutes. And it's like the secret life of Todd Chrisley, or they're always like that kind of stuff. I like am obsessed with those kind of videos. I watch those videos all the time. It is really like the air is not coming on in this car. So this is what I did. I came back from the uh, pharmacy, which I will be vlogging on the way to the pharmacy and on the way home tomorrow too. Um, and probably an extra 10 minutes to go around. Um, and then I, what did I do? I got home, I filmed my videos. Um, Alex had like feather dogs and then he was watching TikTok videos for like two hours straight. He just laughed and laughed and laughed. You could probably hear him in the background of my videos because like there was one point in my Peterism's video where I was getting like real serious about something and he laughed upstairs and it almost made me start laughing. Does that ever happen to you? Like when somebody laughs, it makes you start laughing. Um, it's really windy outside. And then, um, and then, um, I think I have my phone on like that display freeze or whatever. And then I got my videos up and then um, I was gonna take a shower then, but I was like, well, maybe it'd be nicer if I took a shower at the end of the night. Cause I'm just gonna sit around now and you know, watch 13 Reasons Why and stuff like that. Or maybe educate and read out or I don't know, something. Can you tell I'm having a hard time sitting still? Oh, this is the other thing. So I dusted the, well, just one part of the living room and then I have the table, like the dining room table that I work at and stuff I have to dust tomorrow. I cleaned out a, uh, one, so we have this pantry, you've seen probably in my vlog before, in like, from like the living room to, from like the dining room area, it, it's all just, our place is so small and this is gonna be the problem is that Alex and I are literally on top of each other, okay, which is great, it's very romantical, but even when we're on vacation, like we can like, you know, like go out to dinner, go do that, I mean we can't, right? <laughs> like, and so tonight we were cleaning and like Alex opened up this cabinet where we keep like vitamins and we keep like the dog food and all this kind of stuff. And he goes, how did this get like rearranged so quickly? And I go, what are you talking about? And it's like where the vitamins are. Now mind you, we don't have a lot of vitamins, but like when I buy vitamins, I buy like two bottles of each, right? Cause it's usually buy one, get one. So it was like vitamin D. We had like two bottles of it and it was vitamin C. I said, well, Alex, I'm using those vitamins. Like I've been taking them, right? And he goes, well, but can they go right? I'm like, okay. I'm usually here all day by myself, like doing this stuff, right? Like putting candle waxes up and, you know, like cleaning the kitchen. So when he walks in, it's just like the place is spotless and I've been working all day and whatever. And I'm like, we're going to drive each other crazy. And then today he goes, 
if I'm gonna be at home for a long period of time, you know, like, he goes, I have been thinking about maybe wanting to start a YouTube channel. What, what do you think about that? And I said, I think that would be great. I thought, oh God, can you imagine the two of us here sitting here just like driving each other crazy filming videos? I said, well, what, if, what would you do your channel on? <laughs> he goes, I don't know. Oh my God, back in the day, people really wanted him to start a channel and now he's thinking about it because he knows we're gonna probably be at home indefinitely and he's gonna get bored. Um, let's see. He still is working from home though. Like, even if he doesn't go in, he still works from home. I feel so bad for the people that are like losing their jobs and stuff and it feels like it's just like happening like all of a sudden, you know? Oh, this one I got in my Sephora thing. Um, I, and what I mean by that is that, like, there's no, like, preparation. Like, hey, we may have to let some of you go, or we may be, you know, like, whatever, because of what's going on. It's like, people are just getting emails, like, that they're just let go. Um, and I think it's really, really sad, you know? Just... So we clean, okay, oh, but where I keep all of my hats down there. Y'all, I have like 60 hats down there, baseball hats. Um, I don't even know if we can donate stuff to the Goodwill right now. I bagged a bunch of it up and put it with our other Goodwill stuff, which is only just one other bag that I have from like hanging and stuff in the basement. But then, um, and then I, the other hats I like put in the basement so that like I can, when I organize my closet, I'll have a place to put all my hats. And, um, but I cleaned out that whole cabinet and then we put like the extra food in there that we had like out. Like his, I got him popcorn today. So we put that in there and the croissants and stuff. So now we got like the whole kitchen organized. The area where I keep the books, my books and stuff over in the corner, I organized all that, cleaned that up. The only thing is my chair. But I've got stuff on there that I'm doing like reviews on. So I'm gonna have to go through that. Uh, I have no idea how long I've been vlogging for today. I have like no idea whatsoever. I was just thinking about that. I kind of like tried to look before I got on here and I was like, is it like a half an hour or something? And now I've been going, so that would be like 50 minutes with 20 and then another 20 minutes. I've like been vlogging for like over an hour and probably 10 minutes or something like that now. But anyway, oh, windshield wipers. Um, our house is gonna be so spotless by the end of all of this. By the end of this week. By the end of this week, we were gonna do all of our, like clean all of our linen today, we didn't. I actually have a load of wash in there right now. I'm washing that black hoodie of mine, and then my jeans, and some socks, and some t-shirts. And, um, yeah. And then what did we do after that? Oh, I got it, I made it, actually, I made a Diet Coke. I'm really kind of enjoying just like making a Diet Coke, like in a plastic cup and sitting on the front porch. I like it in a glass, but like the last two days, well, yesterday I think I made it in a glass. Yeah, I did. Um, but today earlier I used a different plastic glass, a taller one that I have, and then tonight I used this one. These are these cheap ones I got at like Walmart like years ago with palm trees on them. I know they're so cheesy, but I love them because they're kind of like, they're thick family friendly, but they are, they're like, they're nice little, you know, plastic cups. My uncle Dave was like an avid Diet Coke drinker and he used to always have like a tumbler, like a plastic tumbler that he would drive around in his car. And it was at this um, one like country club that they weren't even members of, but it said it on there. I remember he always had all these tumblers from there that were really nice. Um, I, I kind of like driving with a tumbler, you know, in my car, but anyway, um, so yeah, the house is like clean and spotless and I think the dogs are kind of confused as to what's going on because we're with them like 24 hours a day. I asked Tanya, I said, are your dogs acting weird a lot? She's like, I think they just, she said they act like they know something's going on, but they can't really figure out what's going on. It's going to stop. Hold on. And I would kind of say the same thing about Boo and Tucker, like especially Tucker, like he kind of just like sits there and like, um, like just like watches. Like, he doesn't necessarily, like, get on the chair and, like, just, like, hang out with Alex. Like, he'll just, like, stand there and kind of, like, watch both of us. But, like, we're, I mean, he, we're with them 24 hours a day. You know, they're usually crated for a little bit. I mean, today they were crated for, like, an hour. Well, I mean, I when I was gone, Alex was on his way home. So, probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something like that that they were crated today. 
which is great for them, you know, and they're getting to go outside a lot and whatever. Um, I feel really good about the fact that I got their shots um, updated. I'm happy about that. weird world we live in, isn't it? My neighbor came out of her house today. I talked to her for just like a second. <laughs> She's so funny. She's like, I said, did you, do you need anything? And, um, <clears throat> she's like, no, and um, she's like, <laughs> I could see her husband like moving around in the kitchen. And I was like, well, if you guys need anything, let me know. And she's like, we're not senior citizens. <laughs> and she started laughing. She's like, but we're good, thanks. I said, okay. <laughs> like the three youngest people are probably like right along here. But, I mean, she's not like 20. My neighbor, Laura, who lives over there, that um, has been in a couple of my videos, she's like going crazy. <laughs> she's literally, she walks circles with her dog around and around and around and around and around. I thought about that tonight. I thought, you know what? Like it would be like every day maybe I need to start like, well, I'd like to get my videos done earlier and get them up earlier for everybody to enjoy. But the thing is, is that I'm not going to bed till super late. And I don't really, to be honest with you right now, I feel like there's any reason for me to go. I, I maybe, I, I, please educate me on this if I should feel, be thinking a different way. But I don't really feel like there's a reason for me to be getting up. Like my husband went to bed early tonight. He went to bed at like 1140 or something like that. I don't know what time, 1130, 1140, but he will sleep tomorrow until like afternoon, <laughs> trust. Um, but like, I don't feel like there's any reason. I like to be up late at night. So now I get to be up late at night and you know, watch my TV shows and stuff like that that I'm watching. But at the same time, I'm like, I wanna get up and like get my videos and stuff posted early. And then I thought, well, maybe I could start like walking for an hour every day and instead of driving around, you know, and, cause I, you know, you guys know I love to walk or drive around and listen to my audiobook. that maybe instead I could um, walk through the neighborhood, you know, like the, our neighborhood goes way out and listen to my um, audiobook, and then that would be a good way for me to get some exercise too. So we'll see. I feel like everything changes from day to day. So I don't know, you know. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get off here. I'm sure you guys do know. You probably feel the same way. Tonight, I'll tell you all what I used. Oh, you know what? I used a Sleepy, well, I used everything Sleepy tonight by Lush. Look at my hair, it, looks, it has no product in it or anything. Um, I, uh, what was I gonna say? I wanted to use that Nana stuff. Um, some, I saw this review, that video didn't pop up. Whose video was that? I saw this review of the Lush something like eggnog, like at Christmas time, it was like body lotion and they had shampoo and body gel and stuff like that, shower gel. I, or sh shower lotion or whatever it's called, shower gel. I really wish I had gotten some of that back then because they said it smelled really, really good. But anyway, I didn't use that tonight. I used my Fairly Traded Honey Shampoo and my Veganese Conditioner. And then I used uh, just regular white Dial Bar Soap. And then I used my Sleepy Shower Gel. And then I put sleepy lotion even on my face. And you can kind of see, because I usually use that Aveeno lotion and tonight my face is a little greasier than usual. Um, so that's probably why. But anyway, I still, I love that lotion. But I just wanted to like smell it all over. And then I sprayed the twilight on me. And then I put on my Jammerkins. I have black uh, sweat shorts, cut off sweat shorts. And then I have this great hoodie on him. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna watch my iPad, which I'm really happy that I actually got because it's really nice for Alex and I when we're sitting there and he's like watching, God, what's he watching? Something, oh shoot, I don't know what it's called. I'll just pull up his uh, Netflix and I'll tell you what it's called. He's obsessed with it. And it's so loud and it's in Spanish. And um, I wanna say it's something butterflies, but I probably am wrong. Um, 
And so I sat there tonight. We were gonna watch, like, what were we gonna watch? We were gonna watch something together. And he goes, do you, oh, he's like wanting to watch Shit's Creek with me, like episode by episode. So he's like, do you wanna um, watch an episode of Shit's Creek? I said, I'm gonna lay down as soon as I get done eating. So I just wanna watch that. He goes, okay, well, do you care if I continue this? And I was like, no, I'm just gonna watch 13 Reasons Why. So we sat there in the living room and ate side by side. What is he watching? Where does this continue? House of Flowers. Oh, he must have finished it. God, he watches so many shows. Oh, he finished The Witcher already in that Dracula show. I don't know how he, he he does this. I need to, I need to watch as many shows as him. Anyway, I love that Gossip Girl is on his list. He's watched that so many times. His list and my list are like very similar, except for the Gossip Girl. Oh, he and I should watch Tales of the City together. I've always wanted to watch that. Um, cause it's the Armistead Moped books. Alright, well how do I get out of here and get into mine? I don't know how to do that. Home. Home. <laughs> how do I do it? Oh, Peter, there. Okay. Switch accounts. I'm currently watching 13 Reasons Why, Mindhunter, and The Good Place. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here now and go and uh, watch a little tube tube <laughs> on my iPad. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you are having, um, I, know, I know that I had to address some things in this vlog, I just wanna say, um, but I felt like it was necessary because I know that there's new people on here that haven't heard me say that in a while. I don't want anybody's feelings hurt. I have no problem whatsoever with people leaving constructive criticism, but let's just talk to each other like human beings, especially at this time, right? And um, so I just wanted to put that out there again so people weren't like, oh, Peter deleted my comment and blah, blah, blah. I never said I didn't over here. On my other channels, I, do I don't. That rarely, unless you come for somebody else. But anyway, um, yeah, I can't think of a lot. I get accused of it a lot. And one day it was so weird because a lot of people were like saying in my comment section, they're like, there was nothing wrong with my comment and I deleted jerk and you deleted my comment and I'm like an OG wolf packer and I've watched you forever and I'm gonna have to like bow out because you deleted my comment. I literally, I do not delete comments on my Peter Mon channel, okay? Like almost never. Like I don't even know like what would be a comment that I would delete unless it was like, um, well, there was like a really, really mean comment when I did my Nikki tutorials video and it wasn't about me, it was about Nikki. And so I was like, you know what, like, not that she's gonna watch my video, but if she did, like she doesn't need to see that, right? I deleted one comment off of that video. So I said something on Twitter and I was like, people are saying that I deleted their comments and I didn't and somebody said that there was like a glitch on YouTube and that everybody was doing that. So that was like the one day and I was like, oh my God, I don't delete comments over here. But anyway, um, just so you know, going forward, let's be nice to each other. This is a safe place over here. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are having um, an amazing, I am burning up, I need to get out of this car. I hope you guys are having an amazing, what is tomorrow? Friday. Oh, thank God RuPaul's Drag Race is on. Something to do tomorrow night. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday unless you have other plans, but like I always say, do not, don't, do not, as I start over. I hope you're having an amazing Friday unless you have other plans, but like I always say, don't have other plans. Don't have other plans. Make the most of your day. I know that most of us are at home, you guys. If you have to be at work, thank you for working. Thank you for contributing right now in a way that you can. For those of you that are home, I'm thinking of you. Um, let's help one another. I did this on my main channel, or my Peter Mon channel, so I'm gonna do it over here too. Could everybody in the comment sections, if you feel comfortable with it, put where you're from. Could you say, I'm from here or I'm from there, and then we kind of know the community that we have over here, and like where everybody's from. Let's see internationally in the world like what people are watching and where they're from and see that we can be united, at least in some small way by watching some stupid vlog called Peter Vlogs. Um, and then each day I'm gonna try to do some kind of like audience participation thing over here. So it'll give you guys something to do at the end of the video. Um, but anyway, 
try to do something fun today. You know, I don't know, come up with your Netflix list or find, I, I sat here and made up a list on my phone of shows that I want to watch and some movies that I want to watch and some books I really like to get done and things like that and cleaning the house, cleaning areas that I have meant to clean for a long time that I haven't done. So do that. Do something today that will make yourself proud when you look back on it tomorrow or a week from now or a year from now or any time. Um, most importantly, please stay safe and stay healthy, you guys. And, um, you know, follow the recommendations that people are telling us to do. And, um, yeah. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. I love you. Make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror every single day and you say, here, I gotta get up into the mirror. I love you, you are valuable, you matter, you are worthy, you are important, you are a good person. Good things are coming your way. Today is going to be an amazing day, full of joy and laughter and happiness and opportunity. And 2020, believe it or not, is going to turn around and gonna be your best year yet. And you're gonna to be today happy, joyous, and free. So. And most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and you let them know how much they mean to you. I have to tell you what is so strange, you guys. Not strange. Beautiful strange. Beautiful strange. I've had so many people today reach out to me that I haven't talked to in months. And just say, hey, I was thinking of you. Just wanted to let you know. I was thinking of you and I hope you're staying. You know, um, and not because they watch my vlog. These are not people that watch my vlogs, okay? They were saying, you know, like, hey, I just hope you guys are, you and Alex are being safe and healthy and I'm thinking of you and I love you guys. It was so nice, you know, it was so nice. Just have the kindness of their hearts. It meant so much to me today to get that. Um, and tomorrow I'm gonna do the same thing. So, like, let's do that and let's, you know, start that positivity, you know, the positivity train, not the hot tamale train of going around and letting people, um, you know, know how much we care about them. And also, don't forget, practice random acts of kindness. You practice random acts of kindness. You can do it from home. And most importantly, don't tell anyone. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. If you made it this far, put a blue heart in the comment section below. Like this video, and make sure that you're still subscribed. I love you. Bye. Love ya. I mean, if I'm going to do it from the driveway, I have to give you one more I love you. <laughs> I love you. Bye.